In this video, I'm going to talk about how to design and print a gatefold with Princewell Fulfillment, my favorite stationary printer. So let's dive in. First of all, what is a gatefold? A gatefold is a piece of paper where you have two edges that fold in and meet in the middle, kind of like a gate. So if you think about opening this, it's gonna kind of open like gates as opposed to just folding the paper in half and having that fold on one of the edges. So you're gonna have a fold on the left side, a fold on the right side, and then the back piece will be double the size of either of these front piece panels. So when you're designing it, you kind of have to take some weird things into account um, and it can be a little bit confusing. And then my favorite place to order those is through Princewell Fulfillment. And if you've watched my channel at all, you know they're my favorite stationary printer. If you use my affiliate link in the description of this video, you'll get $25 off of your first order. But I just wanna show you kind of all the different options they have for different folded cards. So they have standard folded cards that are just folded on one edge. They have the gate fold, that means it's gonna meet in the middle. And then they also have a quad fold, so that folds four times, a tent fold, which is just a standard fold, but instead of folding this way, it kind of folds this way. So it folds on the short edge. Um, a tri-fold card, which is like a brochure, that's where you'd fold in and fold in. And then you have two different styles of Z fold. So a Z fold looks like a Z. And if you need to figure out exactly what you want, you can go into their template section and just download the Z fold templates. So it'll kind of show you like this is the accordion style and this is the book style. So you see there's like slight difference in exactly how that looks, but the templates will really help you with those. So <laughs> if you have any questions, you can always reach out to them. The gatefold is pretty easy to set up actually, um, but I'm gonna show you some things to consider when you're designing your gatefold. So the way that I like to set my gatefold files up is I'm going to create one artboard that is the full size. And when you select your gatefold on their dropdown, it will tell you the exact size. So gatefold cards, and we want, you can do an A7 that folds out horizontally, or you can do an A7 that is vertical, which is what we're gonna do. So that tells you that it needs to be seven by 10 flat. So in this case, I've made my artboard 10 by seven. And in that case, the middle panel is your five by seven size. And then each of the side panels is half of that. So two and a half by seven. So what I like to do is make that full artboard. That's going to be my final file that I'm gonna submit to Princewell. But in order to show it to my client a little bit easier, I'm gonna make two smaller artboards that are just the panels. And you could make a third one that's the back panel if you wanna show them the back panel as well. You can see this artboard three is exactly two and a half by seven, and I've lined it up basically to overlap with that larger artboard. And then artboard two is the exact same way, just over here on the left side. And this way you kinda of get these lines here, but they're artboard lines, they're not rulers, they're not, um, visible in the design or anything, but they're visible to you when you're working on it. And then when you export the artboards to show your client, you're going to get a really nice panel artboard that doesn't include the back panel. It's just the left and the right panels. So this is how I like to set up my files. And you might be inclined to design it this way so that the main piece, the middle, this is how we design most things, is that the middle looks really nice and then the sides are where it doesn't look quite as nice. So you wanna put these flowers in this middle section. But if you think about how this is actually going to look when you fold it around your invitation, the beautiful parts, the flowers, are actually on the back and that's not really what's going to be seen on the invitation. So what you're actually gonna see is just these kind of loose leaf options. And that doesn't mean these are ugly by any means, uh, but you kind of have to think about designing these gatefolds like backwards, which is really kind of interesting. <laughs> so here is a better design because you can see on the panels, we'll have the flowers and the buds. And then on the back, we will have some of that leafy stuff that's a little bit less important. So then what I'm going to do is just export these all as individual JPEGs, use artboards. And then what we get is we get the, the back one, and then we also get those two panel artboards that we need. And that's what I'm gonna put here in my mock-up to send to my clients. 
In some cases, you might also want to show them the back panel, in which case you could create that artboard, but you don't typically have to do that. They just wanna see kind of what this is going to look like. And then I typically will upload the full gatefold design in addition to these panels um, into the full proof that we send that's more expanded than just this mock-up. I have lots of videos on proofing if you wanna check those out and see how I send proofs to my clients. So once this is ready for print, how are we going to print it? Super easy. So that's why we have this larger artboard in the back and you don't necessarily have to do anything with the smaller artboards. You can delete them if you feel like they're in the way. Uh, but this back one, which is gonna be artboard four, is the final one that I will upload to Printswell for print. So let's see how we need to do that. The main thing I'm noticing is that I don't have any bleeds turned on in this design. If you don't know about bleeds, check out some of my other videos. Uh, but the easiest way to just add those is document setup, add bleeds, okay. And then we'll see the red line and we'll make sure that our design goes out. Anything that goes over the edge of the paper will go out to the bleed and that's just what Princewell requires. So then we're going to save a PDF and this is artboard four is the only one that we need here. I like to uncheck this preserve illustrator editing capabilities because it makes the file size smaller. And then we just wanna make sure that we have bleeds, whether we're using the document bleed settings or just turning them on manually, it doesn't really matter. So then to order the gatefold, we're here in our ordering portal here in Princewell. We can click start order and then go down just to that gatefold section, select the size that we want, and then whichever paper that we want. I wouldn't recommend doing these out of something as thick as your individual cards. You absolutely can, but the thicker the paper is, the harder it is to fold. And if you make it too thick, then it won't be able to go in regular mail. If it can't bend a little bit, then the post office might tell you that it needs to go parcel rate, which is gonna cost you a lot more. Um, so I actually really like to do these out of the 80 eggshell cover. Um, of course, it kind of depends on your design and your needs, but that's kind of my favorite. And then what's fun about this gatefold is you could absolutely print on the back of it. So if you wanted to create something so that when they opened it, there was a lot of text. Um, some people do gatefold invitations that are just the gatefold and it's a design on the outside. And then when they open it, you have your invitation and then you have details and RSVP information on the side panels. So it's very easy to uh, simply do a back page to this. You just wanna make sure that the front page is gonna be the outside page because that's how Princewell is going to fold them and you want the folds to be in the right places. On this one, we are just gonna print on the front. And let's say we're doing 100 of these. Now we will upload our file. This is pretty much how you order everything on Princewell. You just kind of follow these steps through the ordering system. It's very easy. I have a ton of other videos on this on my channel. If you want to check out um, die cut cards, gold foil, uh, lots of other offerings that they have. This little preview is going to make sure you uploaded the right file. If you had made the size incorrect or actually uploaded only in one of those panel artboards, for instance, then it would tell you that it was the wrong size. This panel is always a little bit blurry for me, but that does not affect the final printing. And I'll just click next. And then you could add a hole drill or angled corners. We're not going to do that. And then if you want, you can add envelopes and they have tons of different um, A7, different colored envelopes that are absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna add envelopes to this particular one. And then you'll see your total cost, all of your information, make sure that you chose the right paper, make sure that you chose the right quantity, et cetera, and then you can add to cart. Now, all you need to do is just add all of the other elements of your suite into your cart as well, and then you can choose your shipping and delivery. What I love about Princewell is if you wanna upgrade to second day, for instance, you just select that and it's gonna change that exact cost. You can always get a very accurate assessment of how much things are gonna cost and how long they're gonna take to get to you, which is just, I love that. You don't have to wait on anyone to manually add in the shipping and hope it doesn't break the bank or anything. You can always see exactly what your different options are. So just a reminder to show you how pretty this will be once it's folded around an invitation. I absolutely love making gatefolds and I love that Princewell 
uh, can go ahead and fold, print and fold them for you. So you could absolutely order this just as a flat piece of paper and do all the folding yourself, but it's gonna save you so much time that they can do that for you. For you. And they have, I mean, geez, so many different types of folds here that you can absolutely find whatever it is you're looking for, whether it's a gate fold, a standard fold, a tent fold, a quad fold, a tri fold, or either of these types of different Z folds. So if you want to look at what some of those options are, you can just click need help. And there's so much information that will help you figure out everything here, but the template downloads is where you can grab all of the information that will show you how to set up your files exactly for all different types of folds, die cuts, and other products that they have. So let me know if you are interested in trying Rinsewell. If you do end up creating an account with them, definitely tell them Lainey sent you or use the link in the description of the video and you'll get $25 off your first order. I absolutely love them. And there's so many other videos here on my channel showing how to order a bunch of different types of products. So let me know what questions you have and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks everyone.